The series is sponsored by Taskade, a real-time organization and collaboration platform. Make sure to check the description for 100% lifetime discount to your subscription. Hey everyone, my name is Vishwas and welcome to this mini series on styled components with React. In this video, I'll talk about the what and why of styled components and in the rest of the series, we will take a look at the different features. Let's begin. What is styled components? Styled components is a CSS in JS styling solution for React and React Native. It uses tagged template literals, which allows you to write plain CSS that is scoped to a single component inside your JavaScript code. Now, why would you want to learn styled components? To be very honest, there are numerous styling solutions when it comes to React, and I'm not here to debate which is better. Style components is a library that is adopted by a large number of companies and is one of the most starred libraries in the React ecosystem. If you're here learning about the library, I'm guessing you're probably here because a friend or a colleague recommended it. So let me cut to the chase and talk about what the library brings to the table. The first one is automatic critical CSS. The library automatically keeps track of which components are rendered on the screen and injects only their styles. Combine it with code splitting and you're loading the least amount of code necessary. The second benefit is no class name bugs. The library generates unique class names for every style. You never have to worry about duplication, overlap or misspellings. Next, we have easier deletion of CSS. If you've worked on a large code base, which makes use of plain CSS files, it becomes very tricky to keep track of unused classes. With styled components, every style is tied to a specific component. If a component is unused, which is easily pointed out in VS Code, deleting the component will delete its styles as well. Fourth benefit is dynamic styling. In React, where props drive components, Sometimes styles also need to be adapted based on props. Style components library makes this really simple as we will see. Fifth benefit, painless maintenance. It is very easy to organize styles with this library and you don't have to move across different files to find the style affecting your component. Last but not the least, we have automatic vendor prefixing. For some of the newer CSS features, you might have to explicitly write the CSS property for each browser. With styled components though, you can write your CSS to the current standard and the library will handle the rest. Trust me when I say this, learning styled components will definitely help you in your career as a React developer. Now then, what are the prerequisites to get started? Well, you have to know the fundamentals of React. If you're new to React, please make sure to go through the React for Beginners series on this channel. Alright, with this introduction, let's get started in the next video.